Hello everyone, I hope all of you are fine. Today our topic is what is magnet, what is magnetic field and what is basically magnetism is. So let's first talk about what is basically a magnet. A material which attracts small pieces of iron towards itself is known as magnet. Or we can say that a material which attracts small pieces of ferromagnetic material towards itself is known as a magnet. Magnet is also called magnesium stone or load stone because it was uh, discovered at a particular site known as uh, magnesia, one of the Asia Minor. Uh, mine. So that's why we can call it as a magnesium stone or iron oxide. So another very interesting thing about, uh, thing about the magnet is that it is basically consist of two poles north and south pole and remember that there is no separate monopole exist means there is no separate north or no separate uh, separate south pole for example if you have a piece of a particular magnetic material and you cut down this magnetic material into two pieces then these two pieces again consist of two poles north south pole and north south pole although this single piece consists of north and south pole but whenever you cut down this particular magnet into two pieces then it will again consist of north south pole and if you further cut down again into two pieces then these four pieces again consist of north south north south north south and north south magnetic monopole doesn't exist but electric monopole exists means single charge exists for example single positive charge single negative charge so that's why we can say that about this now basically there are two class of magnet one is called permanent magnet for example bar magnet and other one is called electromagnet around permanent magnet there is a magnetic field and around current carrying while there is also a magnetic field because in 1819 for the first time Oersted confirmed that whenever you pass an electric current through a wire then there will be a magnetic field produced around that current carrying wire and whenever you place a compass near that current carrying wire then it will be deflected due to the influence of the magnetic field produced by the current carrying wire so compass needle will be deflected due to the magnetic field of the wire produced due to the flow of current through that wire now there are so many uses of magnetic material especially for data storage devices and there are so many examples for example magnet, mag, magnet is used in particular refrigerator uh, magnet similarly uh, in ATM cards, uh, credit cards, debit cards, there you people see there is a magnetic material coating because it store data. Similarly, in compact CD disk, similarly hard drive, there are so many types of CD disks where there is a coating of magnetic material because it uh, it is used for data storage purposes in that region. So these are the some of the basic information about the magnet. Now basically why the magnet attracts the ferromagnetic material towards itself because this is a special class of material and after uh, tremendous uh, research in the field of the magnetism scientists classified the magnetic material into different categories in which there are so many examples of that magnetic material uh, are basically ferromagnetic material, diamagnetic material, anti-ferromagnetic material, ferromagnetic material uh, ferromagnetic material so there are a different class of magnetic material but the ferromagnetic material are that class of magnetic material which are strongly attracted by a magnet now let's talk about basically what is magnetic field is now what is basically magnetic field magnetic field is basically the space or region around a magnet the space or region around a magnet it's uh, where its magnetic influence can be felt by another magnet for example if i take a compass and brought this compass near to this bar magnet then 
the magnetic field of this compass will influence this bar magnet this bar magnet uh, the needle of this bar magnet will be deflected due to the magnetic field of this uh, the magnetic field of compass will be uh, influenced by the magnetic field of this bar magnet because this compass is also a small tiny magnet so that's why it will be deflected due to this uh, bar magnet magnetic field because the magnetic field of bar magnet is very very stronger one other point will be noted that basically this compass you people see it will be never in contact with this bar magnet although it will be influenced by this particular bar magnet so why it, if there is no contact between these two particular objects and it will influence it is because of uh, the nature of the magnetic field magnetic magnetic force is not a contact force but it will be deflected because of the magnetic influence in that particular space or particular region so this is another point now for example i have this uh, particular uh, loudspeaker magnet this is the speaker of a particular radio and if i brought this ferromagnetic iron strip towards this particular magnet then you people see that there is a particular space between the magnet and the iron strip but it is strongly attracted by this particular loudspeaker magnet because of what because in this region there is exists a strong magnetic field of this particular loudspeaker magnet so that's why it is strongly attracted by that loudspeaker magnet so the space or region around a magnet in which its influence can be felt by a particular ferromagnetic material or by another magnet is known as magnetic field so this is the definition of magnetic field now what is basically the unit of magnetic field magnetic induction or magnetic field can be noted by b the si unit of magnetic field is basically tesla and tesla can be defined from equation f is equal to i l b here b is equal to f by i l force unit is newton and i is ampere and length is meter it means that one tesla is equal to one newton per one ampere into one meter it means that if there is one meter wire and one ampere current flowing across uh, or through that wire then there will be one newton force on that wire if we place that wire in magnetic field and the amount of magnetic induction in that case will be one tesla what is one tesla if there is one newton magnetic force on unit length wire having one ampere current flowing through that wire then the amount of magnetic induction is said to be one tesla so these are the basic information about the magnetic field and the magnet and a little historical background i hope you like this video if you like this then our upcoming videos are more interesting than this please subscribe this channel as well thanks